So in the last video, we added um, this hipped roof. Next thing we're going to do is add the ceiling. So I'm going to um, refer to a page in the textbook um, to illustrate how the ceiling framing will sit on top of the wall. So that's what this is right here, okay? We have some ceiling joists and this um, squiggly pattern is the bat insulation, but you'll notice that it is aligning with the outside of the top plates. And that's what we're going to be producing for our detail. So before we get into the drawing, um, I wanted to show you this table. So if you look at the, the title here, uninhabitable attics without storage, live load 10 pounds per square foot and dead load of, of five. Um, and then it also notes the deflection limit. Um, so we have a, a 20 foot span that we're going to try to maintain. So when it comes to sizing those ceiling joists, you know, this is just one example of a table which would define like how far can you span given a certain size. Now, if for some reason we wanted to make that attic a usable space, we would need deeper members than what we're going to be using. But if we're making this assumption that it, there's no intention to, to use that space, um, then this table would apply. So we're gonna have 16 inch centers. And you know, if we look across here, we, we could do this with um, a uh, Southern Pine two by eight. Um, you can get a little bit longer spans with, with some of these other species but looks like we would be able to use a two by eight for our, for our situation. And of course you would want to make sure you're complying with whatever building codes have established um, in your, have been established in your municipality. But for this, for our preliminary purposes here, we'll just use this table. So back in the Revit file, in order to place these, I'm gonna go to the ceiling plan. Um, and I'll do the ceiling of level two. Okay, so we'll be putting this, um, this ceiling. But before I do that, I want to return to the section to show you one thing. Um, you know, if I snap to the inside of, of this wall, it is, you know, not going to have that bearing that we are looking for. So I really wanna place the ceiling all the way to this um, column line here. So I'm gonna just take a quick measurement here from the inside of the wall to the column line. It's six and one eighth of an inch. So now I'll go back to the ceiling level two. And I really am gonna snap, I guess I can just go directly to this grid intersection since that's the alignment that I'm looking for. Um, when it comes to adding the ceiling here, we're going to look at, so under architecture, go to ceiling, and then for the pull down menu, um, just to get started with this, uh, I'm going to choose the gypsum wallboard on metal stud, and then I'll edit the type, and I'll duplicate it. And I'll leave it as GWB, but I'm going to do it on wood joist. And click on OK. And for the structure, instead of a metal stud layer, let's go to wood and structure wood joist, rafter layer. I'm just going to use this dimension lumber and say OK. And from the chart, I need to make some adjustments to my depths. Just a quick reference to our sizes for dimension lumber. Um, again, this is a chart coming from the textbook. So we're going to be using these two by eights. And as you can see here, the actual size for those is seven and a quarter. So I'm going to change this value right here to 7.25, and I'll make this half inch. 
button OK. And apply and OK. And then I'm going to um, begin constructing that ceiling. Using my rectangle tool. And again, I'm going to go to the grid intersection here. So that's right there. And click on the check mark. And let's have a look at it in section to see where it was placed. Okay. So what I can see here is that it is dropped a little bit below. Um, where I need it to be. So it's placed it at eight feet above this level two. Remember, we were working on the ceiling plan for level two. And I think it's about an eighth, one and an eighth inches that it needs to go up a little bit. Yes. So I'm going to click on that and change it to eight feet, 1.125. Apply. And no, oh, that's too high. I want the, I need to drop it half an inch because I want, I want the, um, the ceiling joist to sit on, to, on the top plate. I don't want the drywall to come underneath it. So I'm going to subtract. So we'll make that 0.625 Why? There we go. That's the relationship that we're looking for. And right now there's an overlap, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. 